Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with Nephew, the master of puppets. Today, joined by the Jan Lafuste, aka my dad. Uh, Dad's visiting today, and uh, we thought we should review a beer. A beer, a quite a <laughs> different beer. I don't even know if you'd call this a tribute, or if it's like maybe just a, a, a kind of a, a critical stance or something against mm. something more so, you know. Uh, but this is from Brewski. It's newly released. And this is, this is the Brewski 45th American Pale Ale. And who was the 45th what? You probably realize that with that mouth. It must be the beer. <laughs> must be the beer. Yeah, but, uh, you know, the reference is easy. It's Trump. <laughs> the Trump mouth and then American stars. It even says a Morica on the side of the label. But, uh, yeah. And it's interesting because Bruce Lee usually has some kind of interesting or fun description. This one just says, think. Think. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's pretty awesome because uh, a lot of stuff, crazy stuff is happening over in the States right now with Trump and like the, the wall is going to be built, but it turns out it's going to be taxpayers money or something like that I heard and he did sign, signed a lot of things and so there's been talks about repealing Obamacare and so ah, craziness, but hey, they made a beer called 45th. So I think they already have a 44th that they made in honor yeah. of Obama. So they have this kind of presidential theme. But it's a 4.5% American pale ale brewed with barley, wheat malt, and oats, and rye malt. Yeah. So, sounds pretty interesting. Yes, interesting if it's as full of surprises as a new president. <laughs> 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 that, that, in beer terms, that would be good. <laughs> yeah. We also got to thank bestofbeers.dk for this one. And check out Best of Beers. The link for the webshop is down below. They just got this on there. Super fresh, so check it out. I think this is actually released in Denmark before in Sweden, too, because Sweden mm. Bolaga takes a little bit of time. But we got the Brewski 45th American Pale Ale poured, and yeah, that looks really nice in the in the glass. Hazy. Yeah, it's yellow. Yeah, yellow-orange color. It looks yeah. like it's going to be one of those, you know, juicy, hoppy beers. Yeah, uh, definitely. Oh, man, I got a whiff there. Uh... White head, I'd say. You didn't. You don't have too much head on yours. I didn't have too much yet. I got a nice kind of white head on mine. Looks really. Nice. I love that hazy look to it. Looks mm. great in the glass. But yeah, you want to check out the aroma? Yep. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, that is so orangey. Yeah. That is yeah. so orangey. I don't know what hops this is made with or anything. It just says think on the label. So I had once uh, a beer made by uh, a hop called Mandarin. Mandarina Bavaria? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it smells a bit like that. Yeah. Something like that. Or maybe Amarillo or something. Yeah. It's super orangey. We just had uh, some stir fry. Kind of like a, I follow a channel called Healthy Junk Food. Check them out. They're awesome. They did a uh, Panda Express General Tsao chicken recipe knockoff. And we just had that. We tried to make that. Dan and I. Turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. And there was oranges in there. Yeah. I'm totally getting that orange thing. Absolutely. It's really juicy orange, maybe not even tropical. It's just like tons of mandarin orange and orange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit of bitterness and sweet malt. It smells really nice though. Really juicy actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It smells like a great Refreshing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. Definitely. Let's do it. Cheers. And thanks to Mr. Beer for the beer. And uh, yeah, will be interesting to follow Mr. 45th. <laughs> yeah. Over the next few years, I'm glad he's not the president of Denmark or something like that. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. <laughs> this is really good. Much better than Trump. <laughs> um, Have yeah. you tasted him? No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. But we have to make some stupid Trump references, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you just get like this big wall of orange flavor. Mm. And uh, a really nice It really spinach. grabs you by the, the, yeah. the pussy. <laughs> and, 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 you, and you get this uh, aftertaste, really bitter aftertaste. Yeah, really like mm. bitter orange peel yeah, or something. Yeah, like yeah. That. Like really dry, bitter. And there's no oranges in there, it's all the hot. They're getting very good at doing like these juicy, hoppy beers too at Brewski. Mm. So much orange and mandarin orange. There's a little bit of grapefruit too, maybe. 
Mm. Maybe a hint of a tropical mango thing, but I think maybe maybe only mango actually. You don't but taste taste the, much of the malt. No, it's subtle on the malt. There's a little bit of sweetness. There's mm. maybe a bit of spice from the rye because I get like a spiciness going through in the back along with the the kind of grapefruit flavor. Mm. But it's so orangey. It's so orangey. The only like oh yeah, it's a pale ale too. It's actually very hoppy for a pale ale on four point five percent because like it's so juicy. And the bitterness is kind of soft. I could actually easily drink a few of these. Yes, you could. It is so refreshing. Mm. So juicy. It's The mouthfeel isn't as full as, do you remember, like, green? When no, 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 no. Not, not like that at all. Mm. But again, this is also a pale ale, but it's still got a nice kind of it, slightly it, chewy mouthfeel. It, you, you get the, the taste, but it, it don't hang as long in, in the mouth. Oh, you, no. You, you get the... The bitterness hanging for a while. Yeah, for a little bit on the on the aftertaste there, with like a lot of that kind of just juicy, juicy orange, juicy mandarin orange, and then like a generic sweet citrus fruit, with some grapefruit notes, and then maybe a little bit of mango, maybe even the aftertaste a little bit of pine, just a little bit. If he'll do that, that it says on to, the to the beer that oh, he yeah. did to this one, <laughs> then he will be a good resident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah, this is this is great stuff. Yes. Um, I don't. Um, ninety four, I think. I'm not like it needs a little more mouthfeel and everything to go ninety five. But this is a great like if you prefer the orangey pale ales, like super orange forward. This is definitely something for you. Yeah. It's it's like it's really hoppy. It's almost like you know IPA territory of hoppiness because it's so juicy. But it's it's really damn good. Super sessionable. Yes. So yeah, ninety four for me. A a really nice. Uh, Beer, absolutely. It's perfect and after I, dinner right now. I, I'm, I'm uh, up there with you. 94. Yeah. Yeah, really good stuff, guys. So definitely urge you to hop on uh, to Best of Beers and check out the 45th APA by Brewski if you haven't seen this one locally yet. So definitely check it out. Really good stuff. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think of it if you tried it. You were about to say something? Just... It's a mouthful. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like the new president is too. <laughs> but don't spread hate like he does. Spread love, spread peace, spread understanding, guys. And enjoy good beer. That's, that's I guess that's a good message to end with. So, <laughs> yeah. as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers and some delicious beer. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review. Yes. <laughs>